The stars came out for Astronomy Night at the White House. President Obama hosted the event last night to celebrate space. It featured budding scientists, teachers, and astronauts, and one special guest was the young scientist whose controversial clock invention gained international attention. Major Garrett is at the White House where he spoke to the inventor. Major, good morning. Good morning. At its essence, this story is about time and the times we live in, about identity and suspicion, power and science, and probably a few other things. We had a chance last night to sit down with a 14-year-old at the center of this saga to talk about his invention and his intentions. All of it you can see, and if so moved, judge for yourself. Ahmed Mohammed saw stars on the south lawn of the White House. He was one too, posing for pictures as the embodiment of youthful scientific curiosity, controversy, and misunderstanding in an age of terror. Ahmed met scientific stars like astronaut Alvin Drew before taking his seat to hear President Obama. We have to watch for and cultivate and encourage those glimmers of curiosity and possibility, not suppress them, not squelch them. Afterward, the President Ahmed chatted briefly an encounter that capped an amazing odyssey. It's a very long journey. It's a short journey, but a very long journey in the experience of learning. What kind of things did you learn? I learned that people will always be there to support you when there's injustice. Anything else? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's a ton that I learned. I'm trying to get a message of how you shouldn't judge a person by what or what they look like, and you should always judge a person by their heart. Just over a month ago, Ahmed brought this crude digital clock he'd constructed at home to school. The motive? Impress his engineering teacher. But his English teacher saw the contraption and thought it might be a bomb. How rapidly did you know things were sort of moving in a different direction? When I saw her eyebrows go up. Like that? Yeah. Ahmed was arrested and suspended from school. Tech executives around the country rallied to his cause, and Mr. Obama took to Twitter to praise his innovative spirit. One Ahmed said, might make a difference someday in space. We talked about Mars and 2030, and I talked to him about the generator that I'm making and how it could help people on Mars. And your motive for making it and bringing it to school was what? To impress my teacher. What happened is the last thing you were expecting. Yes. But instead, I impressed the world. <laughs> During his suspension from school, Ahmed and his parents have traveled the world. One stop generated still more controversy. Ahmed posing with the president of Sudan, Omar al-Bashir, who is indicted by the International Criminal Court on war crimes charges. Both of Ahmed's parents emigrated from Sudan, and he told us he wanted to honor the invitation and did not want to be rude. Gail, I can tell you that picture raised eyebrows here at the White House, but did not prevent President Obama from saying hello. All right, Major Garrett. We all remember that story. His expression as he's looking at the president. Now, I love his line, I came to impress the teacher, but I impressed the world, I'll say. Mm -hmm. You haven't heard the last of him. Thank you, Major.